Get in this nice warm tent. Oh, oh there's the beauty. <laughs> He's a fatty. Nice. Wow. Good looking fish. So, every time I catch some fish, my friends are asking me how I clean them, what I do to take care of them. And there's a few things I've learned over the years of doing this that make it easier and faster to do. The first thing I like to do is I do not use a fillet board anymore. I can save good, clean cardboard and put that down and that way when I'm done, I fold the cardboard up and throw it away. Um, the next thing I've learned to do is use an electric knife and I'll show you my process for doing that. These are lake trout that we caught ice fishing. They've still got little ice crystals on them because they've been in the, in the bag that we, we just caught them home. We caught these at, at Flaming Gorge today. And so the first thing I do is I lay the fish uh, like this on the cardboard. Take my fillet knife, my electric fillet knife. You could do this with a manual, with just a, a, a knife like this, but it's not quite as easy. There is a part that I'll show you uh, a little later how, how I use that to get the last of the bones out of the fish. And so I just take my fillet knife, I take it right here behind that gill plate, and go straight down until I feel it hit the backbone. You can kind of feel it. You don't force it or you go through it. Then you take that knife, lay it sideways and just kind of run it down the backbone like that and take it off. Okay, then that little fillet comes out just like that. Take it and flop it over this way. You can turn it around if it's easier. Knife behind the gill plate again. Go down until you hit the backbone. Go right down along that backbone like that and up out. There you have the other fillet. Take this, you're done with that. Throw it away. Okay, now these fillets are a little bit tricky to hold sometimes. So one thing I found to help with that process is I take a fork like this and you can just help hold that, um, that fillet so it's not scooting away from you. And you still have the rib, the rib bones right in here and then a little layer of bones right here I'll show you about too. But what I do is I can hold it like this, take my fillet knife, and just kind of buzz carefully under there, like that. You want to try to keep as close to those ribs as you can, so you don't waste uh, meat. Okay. You get that little chunk of ribs uh, out of there. Now, if you're gonna smoke them or something, a lot of people like to leave the skin on because it doesn't stick to the grills uh, as bad as just just regular fillets. But if you're just gonna eat these fish, um, what I like to do is I take my fork, fork again. Um, often, uh, it, it seems uh, best to come from the tail end but you, you put your fork there just to hold it. You don't even really have to stick it in that deep. You, you put it right there like that. Lay your fillet knife along the skin and you kind of pull back on the skin as you're filleting that fish, as you're trying to hold that. Um, and you just kind of buzz through that. Now you've got a fillet. Um, Sometimes you have to trim off just a little bit or something there. Now you have a fillet um, that has very few bones and no skin on it. Okay, what I like to do now, uh, if I'm planning on eating this, I don't like bones in my fish. And so you can take, you can actually feel there's a little ridge of bones that runs right through here. And you just take your fillet knife and kind of make a little cut right there. And a little cut right there, like that. Take that. If you want to bottle your fish, you save that. If not, you just throw that little chunk away. Now you have a nice little fillet that has no bones in it. 
and it's so much nicer to eat. And then I just put that in a bowl. I have my other side here, I'll show you my process. Uh, one more time, you take, take this, you can kind of hold it right there. Take your knife right along those ribs, just kind of buzz underneath them, right under the ribs like that. Get that chunk of rib out of there. <clears throat> and you can hold your fillet with it like that. Just kind of pull it, pull that skin as you cut. And usually, um, usually you don't even get a, a piece of, of skin on there. Sometimes just a little bit on the, on the end. Okay, now we're at that point again where this is the skin side. You put the skin side down and you can, you just run your, your finger or your thumb along there. You can feel that, those little bones, they're really small and you just have to make that little cut about there. I angle the, the, the knife a little bit towards the, what would be the top of the fish. Make that little cut, take that out. There you go again. One nice little chunk of filet, ready to cook however you want. Um, our preferred way lately to cook that is to, is to take a little piece of aluminum foil um, lay it on a cookie sheet, spray a little olive oil on it, lay the fillets on top of that, light your grill, and just set the aluminum foil right on top of the grill. Sprinkle a little seasoned salt or whatever your seasoning is and then grill it, it cooks really fast. Let me do one more fish, just so you kind of get the idea. Okay, lay your lake trout down there again. Um, just try to keep my fillet knife as clean as I can. Um, take it, go down, hit the backbone, lay it flat, go down along, and the fish is back. You get that, there's almost no meat wasted when you do it that way. Flop it over like that behind the gill plate down till you hit the bone, backbone, lay it flat, run it back along like that, run it clear out. There you go, once again, almost zero waste when you're doing that. Take your fork, find your ribs, buzz out under there, get the ribs, rib meat out of the way. Um, Another thing I like to do is, if while I'm filleting, you get a little bit of um, undesirable stuff here on the on your on your board, just keep a paper towel handy, and you can kind of clean that off. It keeps your keeps your meat meat cleaner. The cleaner you keep that meat, the better it's going to be. It's just going to just going to be better. Um, just run your your bone, your, your knife down like that. Throw the skin away. As you see, there's almost no waste on that. Take your fillet knife again, right at the top of those ribs, and just kind of curve down along. Take those out of the way. A little bit there, stretch your, stretch your fillet out. It really does kind of help to stretch that, that skin as you cut it. You can see it, it pulls it out and it, it makes it uh, fillet away from the skin much better. Okay, then you take your thing, run your finger there, find where those little bones are, um, right along there. You just make that little incision, that little cut along there. A little cut there. You can take a little pair of tweezers if you want to um, and pick those bones out. Some people do that. I think they have a little fish tweezer or something that, that's for, for pulling fish bones. But usually I just take my, 
my knife and cut that little wedge piece out. If I'm gonna bottle some fish, it's like I said earlier, uh, I will save that little chunk because once you pressure cook it, you, you don't even taste those bones. They're, they're so fine. That's how I fillet a lake trout.